50.5 roughly you look inside there you see the size of that wheel and see see that there's no step there's no step yeah but yeah the substantial increase you can mm. see that's the same diameter all the, all way, the way through almost yeah that's got a massive step so there's probably a good three four mil yeah in compressor wheel compressor wheel diameter yeah and that one's got more blades on it than this one the factory standard oh, yeah. yeah so that's the standard that's the high float and upgraded yep. turbo so there's a you can see the increase yep blades are different and looks bigger oh, does look a bit bigger for sure yeah. what i'm doing is just removing the heat shield first okay so we can see what's going on in there okay there's the heat shield and he's already got the sydney motorsport engineering exhaust on it it's a nice big engine pipe it's a beauty five inch maybe oh, it looks like five or six yeah, yeah. We have and a turbo. turbo. So that's pretty much the same thing, just high flowed. It's Correct. Should be pretty much. Well, it's a factory turbo. It's been, yeah. been high flowed. Engine pipe. V clamp. Yeah. So it's just a strap. Straps and squeezes the, the turbocharger exhaust housing with the engine pipe. It's actually quite a good setup. I'll do that kind of last. All right, we're going up. So there's the back of the V clamp that's been pulled off currently. The V clamp goes around here. Oil feed, water. oil return, yep. Okay, so the water one's here. That hose there's your water supply. It kind of goes to a bracket to there. And then we've got oil that's coolant and the oil one's at the bottom. Okay, well, that's not too bad. So we need to take that hose off, which means we're going to lose some coolant, more coolant. So you're taking off the bolts from the exhaust manifold 14 mil. <sighs> That one's done. That one's done. So this is what we're taking off currently. The bolts here that go into the head. For the exhaust manifold. Closest to the V clamp has got a spacer on it. Okay. So I'll leave that there. That's the oil return to the sump off the turbo, the exhaust side. And next up is the yeah, this oil return to the sump taken off the two bolts on the outside because of the shield around it. So that's the little heat shield there. Yeah. Yeah. So that there is the oil feed. Yeah. So it comes in from the side of the engine. Yeah, just behind the, the, uh, the tensioner. Gallery. Yeah. So the same oil gallery that feeds the oil tensioner. Yeah, feeds the turbo. Feeds the turbocharger. Copper washer, we'll get that out of there. Okay. Oh, yes. How good is Toyota? That's it, it's out. Turbo's out. Turbo's out. How long did that take us? An hour at the most. That's where it was. That's so neat. That's how you build a turbocharger. That's how you do it. Look at that. No stupid hose clamps and bleak. It's all hard, hard pipe, the whole lot. That's the water feed. So there's less chance of leaks or anything. Yeah, exactly. So they're all stainless steel. That's the oil feed to the top of the turbo. Yeah. Oil drain, water feed and out. One's in, one's out. I'm not sure which one's which, but anyway. Yep. That's water. Yep. Circulates around the main bearing and housing, center housing of the turbocharger to cool it. Yep. So water, mm -hmm. oil. That's it. That's the turbo. That's the turbo. Let's see it here. Wow. Okay. I'd rather use ours. So someone's taken off the bottom part as well of it. Okay, so all we need to do is... Just to measure the quickly the differences. Let's... All right, let's do... Well, let me take the intake off. Yep. So you'd get a larger one of these, right? Mm -hmm. That's aftermarket. But when they've supplied the bolts, the bolts have obviously been too big for in here, so someone's had to grind them <laughs> to make them fit in there. Yeah, into the housing. Yeah. Yeah, you see that the body here, goes how much lift there is. Yeah. And see the amount here. So, yeah, definitely an increase. Exhaust as well. Exhaust as well, yep. So both of them have been increased. And that's all they change, right? That's it. Yep. I mean, I'd say the, the cartridge has been changed, so the centre. Or upgraded at least, maybe. So it'll be a ball bearing, but this is ball bearing probably anyway. So what it basically does is I'll show you. That's like an electric uh, solenoid. Yep. Well, it's actually not a solenoid. It's a stepper motor. So it goes. Zzz, 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 zzz. So it's constantly winding in and out. Okay. So that there goes against that, and then as the this little energizes, it pulls it back. So the boost pressure goes back through there, there, and back in the intake. Yep. It through, bypasses through there. the turbo. Just by well, what it does basically is stops back pressure going oh, back sorry. there yep. and slowing the turbo down yes so when you okay. back off there's yes. a lot of pressure in there that's not been used by the engine yep so you don't want it going pulsating back to the compressor wheel here and slowing it down or affecting it mm -hmm. so what it does is opens up 
as soon as you back off there it goes. and the pressure yeah. goes bang 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 back into the intake so it's not on that's compressor side that's the intake side mm -hmm. so that's that's under pressure on the outside yep and that's sucking on the inside yep so what it does is it just goes root, loops it back around that's all the bl a blow off valve does got it yep whereas the waste gate, gate the controlling the exhaust gases yeah what it does is is once it reaches and that's constantly open normally they're constantly closed the butterfly here right but the computer also controls it via a vacuum vacuum here with yeah. this diaphragm mm -hmm. it closes that off until it reaches boost pressure right and when it loose reaches boost pressure exhaust gases instead of going down here and around there and spinning the the, the uh, turbine up yeah the exhaust wheel up bypass it that goes yeah. bang 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 and out of here yeah. and straight out the dump mm -hmm. right that's basically how it's, it does it's a dump it. pipe yeah. but it's internal yeah like internal wastegate yeah that's right so slip over all the lines make sure I screw this back in yep it's also got an o-ring on it yep and it's offset by the look of it so it goes that way see these gaskets these are really good gaskets so sometimes I put a bit of crap on them it looks pretty clean but you know what in this case here because it's so bloody good I might put a little bit of Hylomar on it I want to get it in the right spot so I don't have to undo it because the critical part is because they're solid yeah if you put a little bit out we could always loosen it a bit but I'm trying not to and we're in the exact same position so I put it exactly the I can same. measure that and tell you where the vernier is from there to there yeah actually that'd be to the middle to there 11 mil 11.4 that's the oil feed right and we'll just go bang straight over to it now you hold this to where it should be mm -hmm. oh, it's a special bloody sealer that's actually pretty good so i just spray a little bit on it a little bit of polymer clean it out inside i think i've got a little bit inside of it so that out so you just put a little bit on right now got two bolts make sure this is clean now that went like that did it not this is the way you build water pipes and bloody oil feeds this is done right the only thing you can go wrong is if bloody you don't put the seal it up properly or you damage it or so the only thing you can leak really is that hose from there on but and the turbo is pretty safe generally pretty safe yeah i usually put a bit of oil in there too but so there's two sets of bearings in there? Yep. It's all side in that side. Yeah, it'd be one on that side and yeah. one on this side. On a shaft. And it's one, a common yep. shaft, obviously. Yep. So on the stock turbo, there's a dowel just there. But on the GCG one, there's that hole there, but there's no dowel. So yeah, it's OEM housing, but the dowel hasn't been added in. That's it. So the turbo's back in, the main bolts are done up. Little water coolant bracket been done up, and then we'll get the exhaust on. <sighs> Pretty good. So the turbo's on now. It's putting the tapper cover and everything back on. Yeah. Yep. The Venturi, the intake that everyone talks about. It is a nice bit of carbon fibre. It is a nice bit of gear. 